Hello friends, uh, in this video we are going to talk about the aircraft coordinate system. What is the aircraft coordinate system? Everything that is installed inside the cabin needs a location, needs a definition of where it is and uh, where it's installed, what it attached to. Uh, every single interface point of that structure has a particular location in the aircraft that has to be defined in a particular coordinate system. That coordinate system is called the aircraft coordinate system. Now usually that system is manufacturer defined uh, and it depends on what the aircraft is and what who is the manufacturer of the aircraft. Generally it is supplied uh, by the uh, integrator or the manufacturer supplies it to the integrator and then the integrator supplies that to the subcontractors who design and uh, manufacture the uh, products that are installed in the in the cabin. Now, I can talk about a general definition of how that coordinate system is defined and then we can go from there. So, let's take a look at this drawing here. This is a publicly available Boeing 787 uh, aircraft drawing. Uh, it's just a different different views of the aircraft. Now notice this nose section over here. Okay, I think you can see the cursor moving. Uh, if you can imagine a, a cone, an imaginary cone uh, that is tangential to that nose, then that cone, uh, the tip of that cone, is somewhere over there. Okay. Now exactly what the dimensions of that cone are, are defined by the manufacturer but uh, we'll just try to attempt to draw a cone that will be tangential to that nose and where that intersects with the line passing through right through the middle of that or through the tip of that nose that is the origin of that aircraft coordinate system. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do that. So I'm going to draw, let's see, right there, and then maybe like that, okay? It's a little exaggerated, but serves the purpose. Now you can see the tip of that cone there. Now that guy right there is our aircraft coordinate system origin. So let's say this point there is zero, 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 okay? Now this is the origin of the coordinate system CSIS. okay now there are three different axes that are primarily used the letters given to those three axes are x y and z pretty standard stuff x y and z are very commonly used so let's talk about each of those axes the first one is going this way along the length of the aircraft okay along the length of the aircraft. Now if it's going from the origin towards the back of the aircraft, that axis has a name. It's called aft or the direction has a name. It's called aft, A-F-T. This is the aft side of the aircraft and this is the forward side of the aircraft. And if that direction is going the other way from aft towards the nose, that is called forward. There's a name for that direction also. It's uh, called station. Now why is it called station? If you go back to the history of aircraft building and even now it's it's a standard practice. You have frames that are installed as part of the main primary structure and each of those frames uh, is given a station number. That's where the center of that frame uh, structural frame is and then workers are working from particular station to a particular station in between those station numbers. You know, workers are installing different things, installing the frame and installing anything else in the cabin between those station numbers. Uh, so that's how the kind of the name station came to be. And, uh, you know, it's designated using FS, you know, forward station or STA, you know, station. And uh, different people use different letters for that. So uh, let me just draw the axis real quick going from the origin 
to the back. It's not exactly straight, I apologize, but it looks alright to me. Okay, now that direction is plus x. Okay, it's going, if it's going aft, it's positive. And if it's going the other way, if it's going this way, it's minus x. And this direction is forward. And this direction over here is aft. Okay, the name for this is station, S-T-A, or F-S, you know, different, different names are given to this axis. And then if you want to define a coordinate along that axis, you could say, you know, S-T-A 560, or F-S 5, I'm sorry, F-S 560, and so on and so forth. Just different ways to define the station number of a particular uh, coordinate. Now the second axis is going sideways, you know, along the wing. So if you say this is right through the middle of the aircraft, if you go this way, that's one direction. This with this way is the other direction. Now what is this direction? That's plus y okay of course you have the origin over here somewhere and then this direction is minus y all right so if you go right it's called right butt line if you go left it's called left butt line why is it called butt line well my understanding is things come together and butt up against each other right at the center line of the aircraft going through the origin so that's why I think it got that name butt line now if you say R, uh, RBL then you don't need to include a sign when you define a coordinate but if you just say butt line which is BL then you have to specify whether it's plus or minus that way people will know that okay it's on the left side or it's on the right side but if you say RBL etc let's say if you say RBL you know 28 for example people will know that it's on the right side if you say LBL 28 they know it's on the left side but if you just say butt line then you have to say minus if it's minus or plus if it's plus and then give the coordinates for that butt line okay so that covers the second axis the third and the final axis we need to go switch over to this view here Again, you know, the origin is somewhere there, as we know. And we have discussed right butt line, left butt line. We have discussed aft and forward. And the third one is going up like that and then down like that. Okay. Now this is given plus Z here and this is minus Z. Now what is this called? It's called water line W L. Okay, so if it's going up, it's plus water line. If going down, it's negative water line. Partly because maybe the water lines, you know, they're going up and down the aircraft carrying water. That's probably why that name came to be. That's, the, that's my best explanation. Kind of makes sense. Uh, so if you define something, water line, is typically you have to give it a sign. So it's water line, you know, uh, 260 or something like that or waterline negative 30 or something which is in the underside of the uh, plane here then you have negative maybe in the cargo or maybe something like that or maybe if it's a double decker aircraft you know your origin is like up here because the aircraft is pretty tall and so on so you would have a main cabin and an upper cabin and then you would have a negative value for something or maybe even zero for the main cabin and these would be really high values for the upper uh, cabin so there you go folks we have uh, learned today about the two different axis systems what is the aircraft corner system um, in looking at this view let me just draw an isometric view uh, let's say this is our our aircraft here um, and then we have the 
origin right there. So this is x. I'm only going to draw the positive ones. This is uh, z. Okay, z. And then this is y. x, y, and z. Aft, right butt line, and water line. Okay, so uh, in the next video, we will discuss more about uh, introduction to FEMAP. Thanks for watching.